Hello from Petco Park in beautiful downtown San Diego. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton. I'm John Shambi. And Chris, a couple of rookies getting to start on the mound in this one. Yeah, guys are always trying to prove themselves, and I think one way of separating yourself from people in your class is outperforming that guy on the other side, and I think that's what we're going to see in this one for sure. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now, getting the nod in this one, number 36. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Good job to fight that one off. The wind and the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and one out now. Oh, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee for him, but I don't care where a knuckleball ends up. Those things dance all over the place and. Even when they pass right through the hitting zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Number 18 coming in on it. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two outs. Here's a Mets lineup now. They'll be contending with a knuckleballer today. And of course, that's just not something you see very often in today's game. And Boog, I'll speak uh, from firsthand experience. I feel for these guys today because it's pretty difficult to get comfortable against a knuckleballer unless you see them more regularly than once every few years. So today it's going to be all about how this pitcher is able to keep the ball from spinning, get that movement floating towards the plate, and then late diving action at the end. Good luck figuring out where to swing. Just as hard for the catcher, maybe even more so than for the hitter sometimes. Brings it in, and that'll do it. Middle of the first, bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. Back here in San Diego, our starting pitcher in this one, Gary Gentry. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Rick Cole now at the plate. One down, base is empty. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. 
He swung over top of the curveball. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. The two on. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Next pitch okay. is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. So, man aboard, Jay Johnston, the next up for the Padres. Gentry checks over to first, and he's back. Another throw over. Yeah, they're keeping him close. Again to first. And once again, he's back in safely. The 1-1. One -one. Way inside, gets out of the way. Gonzalez off of first with two away. That one catches the zone. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Back here at Petco Park, top of the second, here's the center fielder, number 27. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. I mean, trying to hit that pitch immediately after seeing a good That's fastball good. on the pitch before. The just a brutal no task, problem. man. I, I don't envy this at all. You almost have to sit fastball and hope you get one you can put in place so you don't have to deal with the potential of seeing the knuckleball with two strikes. The two on. This one smacked out to left center. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two bagger. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. One out, runner at second. Here's the third baseman, Wayne Garrett. Swing and a miss, three and two now. No score here in the second. Swing and a pop-up. Number 26 on his way over. And there's two down.
batting seven. The designated hitter. Number one digs in now. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Runner at second, two down. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Mets leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, and stepping in, the rookie left fielder, number 28. Number 28. Next pitch is inside, and a count two and one. Good eye on that spot. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence and seeing some pitches in that at bat. Struck him out looking. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early. But we no could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Now at the plate, number eight. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. And now the count filled up three and two. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So two down now, and here is number 26. Fly ball down the line. Jones on the move towards foul ground. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Stepping in for San Diego, Will Brewer. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. And that is the inning. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And here's the rookie catcher, Martin. There's a 1-1. And he takes a strike. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Gonzalez puts it away for the out. One away. Batting up. The right field. Rod Gaspar up now for the Mets. Gaspar. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Up, Not up much to this one other than just a just willingness to go the other way yeah. and put the ball in play. That's Whoa, a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And next for the Mets, Ken Boswell. Throw over to first, he's and there. he's back in there. Gaspar stands at first with one out. Two two now. And now it's filled up. Executed that pitch very nicely. Just missed with it. Move to first. Gaspar back on a dive. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters, but you'll see this every once in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling. Number 15 up now for the Mets. Top of the third, no score. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. So one hit is all they get. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here in San Diego, set for the bottom of the third. So digging in now for San Diego, Bob Bronson. And a 1-1. That's in there. The 1-2. Just off the outside edge. It's a good take. And the right-hander deals. And that's in the dirt. Line and a base hit into right. Around first, digging for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So digging in, number 18. Here's a 1-1. And that's ripped into left, base hit. Throw quickly into third. They're at the corners now to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Rick Cole will hit next. The 1-1. One -one. There's the swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. And he deals. Hit on the ground might be two. Beats the second out there. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over.
Next for the Padres, Tony Gonzalez. The 1-1. One -one. That one oh. missed. Two and one. That's in there. Two and two now. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Here comes a pinch. That misses okay. the zone, and it's a full count. Left-hand batter waits. In the air, out towards right center. Number 27 settles under it and puts the squeeze on that. And that will end the inning. So they get one run on two hits, no errors, and nobody left on. On to inning number four. It's the Padres one and the Mets nothing. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Leon Jones. Leon Jones. The 2 2 on the way. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains 2 and 2. The pitch. In the air, right field. Gonzalez snags it on the run. Number 27. Number 27, the next to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. The 2 1. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the grab for the second out. The bat, number, number seven. seven. Now, number seven doubled in his first AB. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down in order go the Mets. They're down 1-0. Bottom four. And now the DH, Jay Johnston. Leading up for the Padres, the designated hitter, Jay Johnston. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Everything came together for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the ball right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Number 28 getting ready to hit. Ball to strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these Padres do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Into the outfield base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 2-0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's the catcher to hit. Number eight. He's 0 for 1. 1-1 one, one now. He swings and fouls one off. 
You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Next oh. offering is down low. Two, two. Move first, and he dives oh. back in safely. Two two on the way. Rudder takes off. Got him swinging. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Number 26. Number 26 digs in now. Doubled his first time up. Two one now. And a foul ball. One out and a runner at second. And he hits a ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And the batter now, Will Brewer. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Next pitch oh, is outside. Really nice two-strike pitch right there. Very tempting, but couldn't get the chase. Two outs with a runner at third. Liner, base hit. Runner from third comes across, and they're up by three. Comes through with the RBI. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Stepping in for San Diego, Bob Bronson. One for one with a double and a run score. The pitch. In the air, out towards... Left center, Jones makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Padres three, and the Mets nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in for New York, Wayne Garrett. Hard hit, right side. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Now bad at it. Number one. Now it's the DH, number one. His first at bat was a strikeout. The why to kick the pitch. And that one fouled off. That's the third. Sends it across yeah. the first. And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. The bat, the bat. Number 33. Two outs, base is empty. And now Martin, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Ball on a strike. Way high. One strike. That one fouled off, two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another.
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Mets go down 1-2-3. They trail it here 3-0. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, number 40. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while, coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested, but we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. Back to the top of the lineup, and stepping in is the speedy number 18, one for two. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. This was the perfect spot to drop the bunt for a hit. I mean, he used his bat as a tool up there to direct the ball exactly where he wanted it to go and look smooth doing it at the same time. Really well done, and the defense right there stood no chance. Next to hit, Rick Cole. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique, and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Runner at first with no outs here. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Well done behind the dish. Right-handed reliever. And that's outside. Three balls. He's great. stays alive on the ground right side and it goes just foul ninth pitch of the at bat do next In the air to left, down the line. Jones in position. And out number one on the grab. Now back, right fielder, Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez, the next up for the Padres. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit at the belt and fires swing at a ball popped up grabs it on the run and there's two away now back the designated hitter Jay Johnston Jay Johnston will hit next. Here's a 1-1. There's a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters froze him for strike three. Padres leave one, but they lead it three nothing. Welcome back. Start of the six. John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off Rod Gaspar.
Next offering is in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Ed Wilson, the left-hander, up and throwing. Miller, the right-hander, loosening up as well. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Now back. So the lineup flips over. So up next for New York, Ken Boswell, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Comebacker to the mound. Slings to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Now back. Number 15. And now the shortstop, number 15. The pitch. Popped up left side. Cole puts it away, and that's the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Padres three, and the Mets nothing. Back here at Petco Park, bottom of the sixth inning. So digging in now for San Diego, number 28. Left-hand hitter waits. Out towards right center field. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now bad. Number eight. And here's the catcher. Number eight. Next pitch no. misses. Now three and one. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Fires to first. Two up, two down. Now about that. Number 26. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, number 26. the count two and one hit hard on the ground is short fires over to first third out Padres go down quietly but they're on top by a count of three to nothing all set for the start of the inning leading off Leon Jones the Mets in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The one, two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. On the ground to the left. Now the throw to first on the run. One up, one down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put the it on the ground. Half. Number 27. Number 27. Now at the plate. And a 1-1. One -one. And it's fouled away. One and two here. And that one off the outside edge. Two and two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Number 28 under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now bad. Number seven. Two outs, space is empty. Number seven up now for the Mets. And it is two and one. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Now 
really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Number 36 gives way, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Ron Reed. Number 41, Reed. Here's the third baseman, Wayne Garrett. The one, two. And another ball. And that one is inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three, two. And there's Thank ball four. Not what he wanted to do there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Number one, getting ready to hit. Here's a 1-1. And that's down and away. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The tying run at the plate. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Runner at third. Puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Martin digs in now. The 1-1. One -one. Line drive, base hit. One runs in. Now the second run is in. And they clear the bases. Three runs score. It's 3-3. Three, three. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there. Yeah, Stepping up to the challenge. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Rick Wise on to pitch here. He's pitching on two days rest. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the number. Number 13, Rick Wise. And next for the Mets, Rod Gaspar. Pitches in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Will Brewer. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. You know, these Padres, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've seen how many line drive base hits they've been able to produce in this one. Six to be exact, and they've all been pretty loud. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. And all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Next for the Padres, Bob Bronson.
Next pitch misses way outside. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. And ball four to aboard. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. Up now the Padre leadoff man, number 18. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-80s. Good contact, not much power, and he can run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Here's a 2-1. To third. And it gets by him. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throws offline. He's safe. It's 4-3. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. First and second. No outs. Now it's the shortstop, Rick Cole. A 1 1. Bunts it towards the mound. To first. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Now back. Right fielder. Tony Gonzalez. The next up for the Padres. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Martin pulls it down, and there's two gone. Got the pitch that he wanted up, just up, a little up, bit up, quick. Up. Front shoulder up, open. Up, Backside up. collapsed yeah. a little bit, and the launch angle Johnson. not where he needed it to be. Jay Johnston, the next up for the Padres. One for three. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. So it's second and third occupied. They go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded, and there's a force at every base. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. And now two balls and a strike. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Next offering upstairs. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Out towards left center, number 27, gliding to his right, pulls it in on the run. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. We're at the top of the eight. Now it's the second baseman, Ken Boswell. The one one and that one fouled off fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again another one two Drill to the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. The big blow to the home fans, and we are all tied up. It's 4-4.
He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. The batter will be the shortstop, number 15. Tied at four. And that's downstairs and outside. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. And now it's even up. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Up next to the Mets. The left Leon, Leon Jones up now for the Mets. Ball to strike. And that's outside. And here it comes. Number 27, waiting for a turn at the plate. Kicks and deals. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Tied at four. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across the first. Two gone. The batter, number 27. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number 27. Next offering in the dirt, and it's two and one. And now two and two. Riding to the plate. And he grounds one to the right side. On to first, and the inning is over. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. It's now tied 4-4. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Stepping in for San Diego, number eight. Number eight. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. Check swing. Went around. And the count is even. Two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Number 26 to bat next. Three two. Lifted in the air out to left. Jones trying to get to it. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Number 26, the next up for the Padres. Righty delivers. Falling behind two and one. Two 
And there's a foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And the right hander deals. Got him! And two away now. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because he was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. So digging in now for San Diego, Will Brewer. And now one and two. And a pitch. Got him looking. And that is that. Padres down in order. Score remains tied at four. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for New York, number seven. Check swing. Went around. In the count, one and two. And the one two misses to even the count. The two two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Wings and this one's Flair. Puts it away for the out. The bat, the bat, the bat, the bat. Wayne Garrett up now for the Mets. Misses inside. Two balls and a strike. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Hauls it in on the warning track. Now, now, now. Number one. And now the Mets DH, number one. Ball to strike, the pitch. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Offense held a check there, and 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we are tied 4-4. Welcome back, and here's the first baseman, Bob Bronson. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one oh. missed. Action in the pen down there. Tug McGraw appears to be getting loose. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Four four in the ninth. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back. Go! Ball game. So he leaves the yard to left, and the Padres walk it off. Five four.
Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Leon Jones. A chance at history here. Needs just a double to complete the cycle. Here's your one. Popped up right side. Brewer hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. And next is the designated hitter, Jay Johnston. in the air left field Jones calls it in two away and today is draft day singing an exciting day in terms of the future of the sport and the future of these teams it's also changed a lot carrier pick Good evening to those joining us for this live look in on the show. I'm John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. You're just in time. The Mets up to bat here in the bottom of the inning with a chance to walk it off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Jones swings through it for strike one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Tommy John looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Brewer getting loose as well. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Number one up now for the Mets. Snap throw to first. And he's back safely. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. If he's going to steal second, 
You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Up the middle in plenty of time to first. And that is that. Back here at City Field, digging in, Manny Moda. And the pitch. There's a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Tommy John getting loose out there. Brewer getting cranked up as well. Base hit center field. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. So they hold the runner in third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, they'll be some... Makes the catch! One down. Two on, one out. Tom Haller steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double. Runners on the move, and it's a squeeze. Whips it to first on the run. That's it out, but the go-ahead run comes across. So the batting order turns over. Maury Wills steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's in there for strike one. Now one and one. That's the ball. One and one. Moda at second with two down. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Hit connect on the curveball, struck him out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the... Back now, and on the mat. Well, one run game, and now the first baseman, number seven, the pitch. That one to first, and he grabs it in foul ground. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations, closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. What a way. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. In the air, left side. That one gets down for a hit. The run scores from second. What a game. We're tied at eight. Makes it to second. The winning runs in scoring position with one gone. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Now here is Rob Gaspar. And first offering is fouled off. And it's second. This one in the air right field. Makes the catch for the out. Down the third baseman, Wayne Garrett. On the ground, right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But a run will score in the inning on this. Back here at the ballpark. We're at extras here. And here is John Gilliam. And first offering is fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Runner around third. He'll score nine to eight now. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Davis in now, takes ball one off the plate. Foul ball. Gilliam at second with nobody out. Yeah. 
And it's through for a hit. Gilliam headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And they take a two-run lead. Back against the wall with two... A 12-8 final score in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB. The beginning of the work week and welcome to Inside the Show.